In Creole Parametric, you can use the Intelligent Fastener extension, or IFX, to place fasteners on curved surfaces, but you're going to need some construction geometry. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in an assembly model. Let me select the door part over here, and I'll go to Model Display, Component Display Style, Transparent, so that you can see that there is a frame that the door needs to be attached to. So let's start off by creating some points in the door part in order to locate the fasteners. I will select the door part in the model tree, then use open from the mini toolbar. Let me zoom in. I have a copy geometry feature with a curve. Let me unhide it. And now I'm going to create a datum point on the curve. Let's click on the point tool and I will click on the curve where I want to locate it. By default, it is using length ratio. I'm happy with that. Let's change this to 0.1 so that it is 10% along the length of the curve. I will click the OK button, and with the point still selected, I will hold down the right mouse button and then use the pattern tool from the mini toolbar. Let's pattern that 0.1 dimension I will use an increment of 0.2, and then let's change the number of instances to five. I'm happy with that. Let's hit the check mark, and let me make sure that my datum point display is turned on so that you can see them. So now I've got my points for locating the fasteners. Let me go to the door assembly once more, and let's zoom in over here. So I will go to the tools tab, and then here is the Intelligent Fastener group. And then from the screw dropdown, I can choose Assemble on Reference. And first, I need to select the point or axis where it's going to be located. So I will select the point that I want to use. And then you need to pick a placement surface for the screw head. Now, here's where we're going to come into trouble. I cannot select that curved surface. I need a flat planar surface to use as the placement surface. So let's cancel out of placing the fastener for now. Let's go back to the part model. I will use the mini toolbar in order to go back to its window. Let's create a flat planar surface on the point. Let's choose the plane tool, and then I will pick the point for locating it. And then I need a second reference because if you take a look at the dialog box, OK is grayed out. A datum point is not enough references in order to define the plane. I will hold down the control key and select the curved surface. By default, it is using through for the surface reference. Let's use the drop down list to change that to tangent. And right now, the datum plane is being displayed very big in the model. You can go to the display tab and then use the datum point as a reference for the size of the plane. It'll make it smaller, not too much smaller, but uh, anything is better. Let's choose datum point from the selection filter just to make it easier to pick. So now it is a bit smaller. This is good. Let's click the OK button. And now with the plane still selected, I'm going to click on the fill tool. That will put me right into sketch mode. Let me go to my sketch view and then zoom in over here. I am going to create a center rectangle and let's locate it right on that. And I'll let it snap to perpendicular so I just have one dimension. Let's change this to a value of one. I just need a small flat planar surface. Let me grab the dimension, move a little bit closer. I am happy with that sketch. I will use the right mouse button in order to get to the check mark to exit out of sketch mode. And to complete the fill feature, I can use the middle mouse button, which is the same thing as the check mark. Okay, so now I am going to select those last two features I made in the model tree and then group them from the mini toolbar. And then I can right mouse click and choose pattern. It will create a reference pattern. I'm happy with that. Let's hit the check mark in order to complete that. Now we have what we need in order to locate our fasteners on the curved surface. Let me go back to the window with the assembly. Let's go back to the screw command and use assemble on reference. 
and I will use this point. And then for the surface, I will use my flat planar fill surface that I created. And there you can see a preview of the direction that it's going to go. Now you'll notice in the dialog box, there is a little bit of a warning sign. Well, there is a warning sign there. And it's sort of like, you know, hey, I'm not crazy about using that fill surface, but you can go ahead and do it. Then for the placement surface for the nut or the thread, I will use the back of the frame. That thankfully is a flat planar surface. So now let's click on the OK button. And so for the catalog, I will go to my drop down list. And in this situation, I want to use, let's use ANSI metric. And then here you have a drop down list for the type of fastener that you can use. I will use the hex cap screw that is fine for me. And it is a M5. M5 is good. Let me rotate the model so you can start to see the preview of it being generated. And I want washers on side one and side two. Right now, the length is a little bit small. Let me use this icon to set the length automatically. And this icon can lock the set length automatically option for this. If you want to, you can hit the plus sign and see other different options, like if you want to control the fit, counter war options, and so on. But okay, so I am happy with this. Let's click the OK button. And now we get an option here to assemble a single instance, pattern the fastener, or assemble the fastener on all instances. I'm going to select that and then click the OK button. And it places it in here, but there's a little weird thing that happened whereby the addition of the fasteners ended up making the screw a little bit sunk. So I'm just going to repeat the process. I don't know why it didn't work correctly, but let's just select all the stuff that was generated by IFX and delete it. And I will choose to delete all. Let's try that one more time. If I just go to the assemble on reference this time and then pick the point, the flat planar surface, and then I'll use query select this time in order to get the back of the frame. Query select is where you tap the right mouse button until the correct reference highlights, and then you can left click on it. And let's go to the OK button. And everything in here looks good. Let's click OK once more. Let's assemble the fastener on all the instances and click OK. And now it's fine. Again, I don't know why it was showing up sunken before, but that's OK. Let's turn off our datum point display. Let me go to the door skin part, and I'm just going to hide that copy geometry feature that I made visible. By the way, if you are changing your visibility settings, don't forget to go to the View tab and save the status so that the settings are remembered the next time that you go into uh, this model. But anyhow, that is how you can use IFX in order to place fasteners on curved surfaces.